Hey everybody and welcome to the finale of Stargirl. Season 3, potentially the whole show itself. Last time out, we discovered, shockingly, and it was a shock, that ultra-humanite wasn't in that ape. He wasn't in that gorilla. He's in Starman. And Dragon King is in the, the gorilla, and Jordan is in himself. He's just happy in himself, with his own little plans and machinations. Don't forget that Jordan is the kind of guy who kills fellow uh, villains just for sport, just because they look at him the wrong way. So watch out, Dragon King. Watch out, Ultra Humanite. In fact, they should all be watching each other in a big triangle. A triangle of watching this. Because if Courtney doesn't get them... Oh, she has to get the staff back first. She's gonna, at some point, she's going to be like, Cosmo. And then Ultra Humanite will realize he doesn't have power over the staff anymore. It'll be an iconic moment. And then we'll get him. Who survives of the villains at the end? If any, who turns on who? If anybody, will the Crocs reform and come back from the dead? Nope. Will Artemis get revenge? Maybe, maybe not. Which way will Cameron fall? Will he side with his grandmother or his grandfather? Will Rick get over his problems? He seems to get over him in the last episode, or at least he took the, the first, the biggest step. Yeah. Will Beth have one more scene with her parents? Will Yolanda have one more scene with her parents? Or that priest. That priest is more of a character than her parents are in her story. Throughout the seasons. What about Cindy and the tree, the tree amigos? Is that what they're called? They're not called that. Mike and Jakeem? Mike, Jakeem and Cindy. Can we think of a better name? How about we merge all their names together in some sort of Lovecraftian horror beast? No? Well, just a suggestion. Anyway, this episode is called... Uh, crap. I looked it up and then I forgot it. As you do. The Reckoning. Good title. You think... Shade will come back? I don't think so. I think he's just been written off into a potential season four, you know? With Jenny and Todd and whoever they meet along their way. Will Barbara get revenge for... Where did that arrow go? Remember she fired it in a previous episode? Still, it's circling the globe right now. Will she learn what Paula taught her? any skills that she taught her at all. Barbara hasn't used any of them yet, right? So I feel like that's a story thread that needs to be resolved. But we only have 42 minutes to do everything. So, who, who knows? Let's get into it. Nine months ago, Stargirl loved their flashback at the start of episodes. Ah, Starman. Told you it was a wizard. It worked. Hello again, Starman. What are you doing? Oh, it's actual Starman. They haven't performed the surgery yet. Because a hero like you is someone who is already trusted. Americans will listen to you in a way like nobody else. They'll even vote for you, I imagine. Oh, President Starman. Starman for president. Will never work for you. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do something about that. The ultra humanite gets your body, and then I get his. And your brain? My continuing quest. We drop on the floor. Oh, what did you do to Pat? Oh. His last thoughts were of Pat. Dig him up, Starman. Find that. He got remnant friendship memories. I don't know if he does. He seem sure seems to know a lot anyway. Did his worst research. Pat has like two minutes left to live. Hey, they, they dug up Starman and brought him back to life. They can do the same with Pat. Sylvester told you about the hourglass's limiter, but 
He didn't warn you about what happened to your father when he removed it. Mr. Pemberton also told me to protect my parents. Yeah, how dare he? What he was really getting you to do was push <laughs> them away. That was a mistake. To weaken us. <laughs> I got up with it. I love how they all put, they pieced it all together. Especially Beth's line made me, made me laugh internally and also externally. He, he made me protect my parents. <laughs> yes, but what he was actually, what I was actually doing, Beth, you see, now that we've come to this, this theory, he was actually forcing them away from you. <laughs> oh, he's an, he's evil now. He's evil. He's probably the ultra humanite. Look, it's the final episode. They have to piece it all together quickly. Otherwise, there's no episode. Otherwise, they have to wait for them, him to tell them. You know, burst down the door. I'm ultra humanite. And then run off. Oh, shit, it's him. Get him. It's a cl it's clunky. <laughs> we have to find Pat. There's still been no sign of Mr. Dysinger. Well, I have some news. <laughs> so what are you looking at? Starman has agreed to let go of our past differences. But I'm afraid that Courtney and her friends aren't quite so willing yet. Yeah. Something has happened to Courtney's stepfather. He's been killed by that aberration of science, the ultra human knight. Oh, can he speak Norwegian? <laughs> Have you been taking lessons, Cameron? He hasn't a clue. Come on. He spent a year painting a mural. Cameron? Starman's at the junkyard. Sorry, my family's coming to have to go. Wait, Cameron. No, oh, cryptic. Hello? Cryptic, Cameron. Grundy! Or Pax. Did Pat just climb out of his own grave? How'd you do that, Pat? I hope your mom finds Artemis. She'll probably show up right when we need her. How does she always do that? Yeah, she probably she's probably just watching us. Following us. Hey everybody, we're all wearing our costumes. Hello, Courtney. The whole family's here. Where's Pat? I'm sorry, Courtney. Huh? Pat's gone. He's a zombie now, Courtney. He came to see me after Jordan and I settled things and tried to convince him to join forces with both of us. He refused. He went into the woods alone. He went into the woods alone? Looking for the ultra humanite. That doesn't sound like Pat. Who killed him? You could have made up a better story. Much better than that. We need to team up, Courtney. I don't believe anything you say. Oh, Pat's back. That's not Sylvester. It's the ultra humanite. Oh my god. Why won't Stripes he die? <laughs> Oh, battle between Starman and Stripes. You don't belong with them. You belong with me. No, but we have a cool trio now. No deal, Pops. Nice. Cosmo's doing the heavy lifting. I don't know how you dug yourself out of that grave. I don't know how, either. <laughs> Oh, neat trick. How do you learn to use the staff so well? Oh, nice. He sliced it right in half. Good thing his suit isn't made of cars. Plenty of spare parts, though. Around here. Oh, nice. Put these two again. They don't want to hurt each other. They don't want to hurt each other. Hesitation detectors, nice. I don't want to fight you again, Mr. McKenna. Neither does he. Neither do I. Then we have to stop everyone, okay? Right. Stop us. Especially her. Tell her. Your day. Ella's Come on. Coming, what die. about true love? Stop her. Ah! Oh, watch the car. Go for. Did she just get crushed? I didn't do it. It was her own blast. Stop overthinking. Be honest. Be specific. One final wish. To make it all right. I wish the most beautiful woman in the world would never have to be bothered by a father again. Ooh. Who's to say she's the most beautiful woman in the world? I am. She is. He believes it. The kid with the pin. Oh. Wish is granted. Holy moly. Where did he send him in space? Is he a little Bebo? 
from your not so secret admirer. <laughs> it's from Jakeem. This is your last chance, Courtney. Pledge your loyalty right now. Stay Barbara. away from my daughter. It's Barbara. She learned her thing. This is going to be so perfect. You and Cameron will be together. Barbara. Arranged marriage. I know what we had could have been reignited. Yeah, we could have got married too. We never too. had anything. Goodbye, Barbara. Cameron, stop him. No. <laughs> oh, meanwhile, we still have a Starman problem. The staff belongs to you, Courtney. Yeah, Courtney. Iconic moment time. Bye, Pat. Hey! The staff doesn't work for you! Oh, it works for me! Come on, Courtney. Take it. No. Nice, she has a back. Okay. You are not worthy! Very nice. But I am. If I was the ultra human, I'd, I'd be running somewhere right now. No more staff, huh? Oh, I'll give him the old one too, Pat. Don't force me to do what Brainwing did to his son. I think Cameron's stronger than you, though. The fact that you went there says everything. Get out of there, Icicle. You know when, you know when the battle's lost. I only wanted what was best for you. Do what you have to, or I will. Use love, Cameron, to defeat your father. He's gonna turn him into a statue. Oh, he turned him into freaking ice smoke. Snow. He turned him into snow. This all worked out. Grandpa. Cameron. Stay back. Why? I'm taking my grandfather to get help. And then I'm leaving. No, he doesn't want any part of this. I can help you through this. Goodbye, Courtney. Excelsior. That was just a puff of smoke. He's actually just limping with his grandfather around the side of the cars. You showed up just in time. How did you get out of that grave, Pat? Sylvester's very first adversary took me hostage. Dr. Weird. Dr. Weird. W-E-E-R-D. Oh, that is weird. When Sylvester rescued me, taught me a little trick. Disjoint both thumbs. What? So I could slip any restraint. That's what I did down there. And then you made a pocket of air. I'm sorry it wasn't really him who came back. Oh, where is he, by the way? Did we? Is he dead? He's not dead, is he? Said all of those horrible things to you down here. I heard him. And when he came back upstairs, I... Hey, I heard you too. Oh, I heard the cool stuff what that she was saying about him. Thank you. These two are the heart of the show. We're just glad you're feeling better. Is he feeling better? Thank you. Go ahead and live in the woods, Rick. For being there for me. Try and resurrect Solomon Grundy again. I want your help, so I'm asking for it. Okay. Officially. Like, we're your sidekicks? That sounds a little yeah. derogatory, Great. so... Are you kidding? <laughs> it's a dream! Let's talk costumes. costumes. Sylvester's... Hey, can we just talk about... Hey, Sylvester's still... How are we doing? Can we put... Can we get Starman's actual brain somewhere? Maybe they kept it in a jar in one of the labs. We can put it back in him. Um... That's parents have gone back to being the worst characters in the show. <laughs> I was cutting them some slack for the last few episodes, but... They were on the verge of getting divorced until they found out about Beth's superpower stuff. What are they doing together, those two? Do they magically work out their differences? They're like excited kids. They act like kids around their, their child. It's not a it's not a good look. It's only it's a TV character thing. It can only exist on TV. It's very off putting to watch. It's if you turn your brain off and think of it as a cartoon show. It's fine, just go with it. But if these are real people, you're like, oh, could you just, could you just be grown ups and not be over crazy excited for for one for once, mom and pop, and get divorced for the love of God? You can support me and also be separated. <laughs> that's it. That's it. 
That's 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 my last final word on Beth's parents. Body is still perfectly fine. For all intents and purposes, he's brain dead. Right, brain dead. Sylvester, what about his brain? Where is his brain? I say we keep him on life support. Just in case. Just in case. Meanwhile, wait, 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 wait. where's where's Stripesy? In a jar. Where's Pat? What did you do to Pat? Ah! He's in a, a nightmarish prison, reliving his last moments. She should be inside. So what are we doing? We'll wait here. Good luck, Mike. Oh, we're seeing his mom. Aww. Where are we going? Are you Becky? Becky? Gambro's daughter. I knew your dad. How'd she find her? She lived in the area, within walking distance, all along. Oh, it's all, it's all very happy. It's all very wholesome. It was nice. Seems like she's got some stuff figured out. Seems like she's doing good. Yeah, she seems okay. Thanks for asking if I wanted to see her. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. We love you very much. I need a car hug. He didn't want you to think he abandoned you. He loved you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to come in for... See ya! Bye. That's it. That's it. What was he like? Tell me about my dad. Just, uh, see ya. I've got my letter. That's all I need. You did a good deed, Courtney. Come on, Salma Grady. You can do it, Rick. By the power of Grayskull, Rick. You got this. You got this. Oh, he's back. He's back. No, what are we do? No, 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 how are we gonna? Where is he gonna live? What's he gonna eat? Apples? Come on, come on. Yeah, buddy. Is that Dragon King he's playing with? What about your parents, Yolanda? Maybe you can call them. Mis amigos se acercaron con su paz, con la verdad. Yeah, you can try. Ojalá podemos hacer lo mismo. No, Becky was literally within walking distance of her house. <laughs> Careful, you're getting ice glue on you. He, he's getting everywhere. Separate the particles. Do not let them reform. Courtney, for the love of God, don't make the same mistake twice. Where are you, Cameron? We got 80s music playing. We're gonna have a little romantic ending. Do you really think you can help me? Oh. They knew they were getting cancelled. This is what this ending is all about. The last 15 minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile in Denmark. What's in Denmark? It, looking alive. Oh, Artemis. Artemis is coming for her revenge. That's what it is. That's what it is. That goop you're standing on, that's petroleum jelly. Oh. Laced, it's highly flammable. It even burns on water. This is for my parents. Oh, you're not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this. You're not coming back this time, Mr. McKim. What a way to go. She tracked him down to Denmark. Holy moly. Ten, what, what the Quite hell? This way, the meeting table. Justice Society of America. He's a tour guide now. Star Woman. Star Woman. They stopped the Injustice Society from brainwashing America. And bringing world peace. That demonic brute Eclipser. Yeah, he, he was creepy, that one. That was creepy. And brought the true Sylvester Pemberton back to life. Oh, good. From a cosmic deity called... The Nebula Man. Hey, we, wow, don't spoil season four, dude. They're the greatest heroes the world has ever seen. What about the Flash? 
What about Superman? Hey, the Flash is back. Flash. The Justice Society is needed. Our adventures are not over. Great. Where are we going? Are they ever? How about a Flash show with uh, John Wesley Shipp? How about that? <laughs> it is never the end. But I think maybe. Maybe it is the end. Not just for Stargirl. Not just for Stargirl. For the entire universe. So, Stargirl is over. For now, maybe ever. And uh, that universe, the Arrowverse, is also almost over. Forever and for good. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things in this finale that you could make fun of if you really wanted to. But I'm going to give it a pass. One, because it's a finale. Two, because they were cancelled and they must have known they were going to be cancelled. Because some of the scenes in the latter half of the episode were very much, oh crap, we gotta wrap this up. We gotta, every story thread that we have going, we have to bring it to its conclusion. We have to fix everything right now. Like Cameron, uh, in the junkyard after the, the battle. He's like, I'm going to take my grams. I'm going to get him some help. And then we don't want to talk. I'm not going to talk to you. You know, that's that's a we'll see him in his future season scene. But because they were cancelled, you got to bring him back. You got to have a moment with Stargirl, whether, you know, they're in love and they're together. They have to have a happy ending there. So instead of keeping it open for maybe he'll return maybe he'll come back maybe him and Courtney will be a thing you gotta do it quickly Yolanda has to fix the stuff with her parents Beth has to fix the stuff with her parents Rick has to not only recover from the hourglass stuff but he also we have to get Solomon Grundy up out of the ground uh, everything has to be everything has to be the only thing we didn't see are Maria and Zeke getting together <laughs> And I was worried for a moment during all the, the happy endings. I was worried that the last thing we saw of Starman was his brain in a jar reliving the last few moments of his death. Which was a horrific ending in the middle of so many happy endings. But, as Shade, John the Cake just said in the final scene there, they got him. They restored him. They... They fixed him. They found him. So, don't worry about it. So... Yeah. Mrs. McKent. Grandma. The most evil of them all. She killed herself, didn't she? With a, an ice blast? That accidentally hit a car and then fell on her? Holy moly. And then... High school, I thought they, they turned him into snow. I was like, oh no, they the same mistake. He's just going to reform. He's somehow. The snow will fall, then he'll melt, and then he'll reform again. Arnimus, who we did set up earlier in the episode as, she just, she just appears from nowhere. She got him in the end. She appeared from nowhere and got him with a special chemical stuff that her dad used that burns on water. And she says he's not going to come back, but you know high school. He'll burn for a while. He'll turn to steam. And then the steam will condense and fall as raindrops. And then he'll go to the sewer, and then he'll start again. I wonder what he was doing in Denmark. Just licking his wounds, plotting his next move. All he wanted was world peace. One, his world peace plan in season one, not so bad mind control people to be better people and not mess up the planet so much not not a bad idea sure villas sure takes away free will saves the planet yeah two his plan in this season get starman president make him president and then icicle can enact policies that will help the world not so bad not so bad also, an arranged marriage between Courtney and his son. 
Not so bad. So, he's villainous, but he has, in his own brain, uh, good in, like intentions to help the world and help his family. And as an accidental byproduct of that, the world gets saved. So, uh, but we stopped him again. We stopped him. We stopped him and we, we get what we deserve. We're going to get it. We're going to get what we, we deserve because of that. Dragon King, the unkillable, is now in a bear. That's probably the most horrific ending of all for all the characters. Brain in a jar can only last so long. You know? But uh, Immortal Bear... As long as his consciousness is not inside there, it's okay. If it is inside there, that's that's way too cruel. Way too cruel. But he's play toy. Uh, but yeah, happy ending for Cindy. Jakeem. His creepy obsession with Cindy finally paid off. It's not creepy. It was very open. And very honest and very wholesome. Mike got to meet his mother, who we've been talking about in previous episodes. That was nice too. Uh, Pat and Courtney overheard each other's conversations with Starman, which is great. It means they didn't have to say the things that they'd already said about each other. And those two are the, especially those two, are the heart of the show. So I like their scene together. Barbara finally learned how to use a crossbow. She had one shot. Was it effective? It, was it just for... Just, just, just to have it? Yes, it was just to have it, but... It was something that they set up and they delivered on. They, set, they delivered on everything. But, uh, except for poor Mr. Somebody who did not deserve to die and wasn't given any happy ending or resolution, Mr. Dysinger. We did go to a vigil. We never found out what happened to him. Maybe, maybe Grant's told Cameron later. That poor guy. He was only concerned about Cameron and his art, his passions. He got killed for it. For no reason. He wasn't a threat. You know, he well, he didn't have superpowers. He wasn't threatening their family. Sure, he was a distraction. Distraction to Cameron. You know, so he couldn't kill his enemies as well because he'd be like, yeah, I'll kill my enemies tomorrow. I'm busy working on this art project. The art teacher must die. She was the best, though. Like, the worst, but the best. Them. Yeah, and overall, look, they had a lot to do in this final episode. They had a lot of storylines. Every single character had a story. Every single character. All the way from Jakeem all the way up to Courtney. You know? Everybody had something to do in the final episode of that had something to do with their character arc. And that's hard to do. And was it a cartoony happy ending? Yes, but that's sort of... Sort of the vibe of the show. And if they had to end it, that's probably the way they should have ended it. Nothing dark, nothing... Oh, but maybe they didn't really get this person, or... Maybe this person didn't get a happy ending, maybe... Maybe Solomon Grundy doesn't come out of the ground and Rick misses him. Maybe maybe a number of things. But the most unrealistic thing part of the whole episode was Pat climbing out of his own grave. Who knows how long after he was buried and suffocating? You know? He, he, how did you get out of there, Pat? Well, I learned how to do the thing with my thumbs that you see on TV all the time, and then I Slip my restraints. Yeah, but how did you... What did you hold your breath for? How long did you hold your breath for? And then all that dirt. You had to wait till Starman had stopped monologuing and had walked away. And then he got out. Holy shit, Pat. You could have said something like... I was a... Uh, did you know I was... Captain of the swim team in high school? I can hold my breath for up to five minutes. Wow, Pat. That comes in handy. I love that in the end, ultra-humanite, even when he's fighting, battling, 
He's still in his role as Starman, talking about his friendship with Pat. Pat's like, you're not him. You're not my friend. He's just so much in the role. Hey, what did they do with Ultra Humanite's brain when they put the Starman back in? They put him in a jar? Uh, Dragon King and Ultra Humanite kind of had a quick ends, quick endings. You know, all their huge plans and machinations just kind of undone. A rock. It was a rock, right? Pat got him on the rock. And uh, Dragon King got beaten by a, a boy with true love and a pen. You think Cindy gives him the time of day now that it's ten, that it's ten years later? Maybe. Maybe. An ice skull, well. I don't believe ice skull's dead. He got shattered into a million pieces. He got thrown up into a snow cloud. What, just cause, just cause he's... burning? You yeah. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So he's still out there, somewhere, biding his time. Until the show was renewed. Or we get a new Flash show, John Wesley's ship. You know it. So where does this leave us? This leaves us with, uh, uh... This is the end of the show. This is the end of Stargirl. I don't believe we'll see any of these characters again. Even in other shows. Maybe, maybe, maybe a, a cameo appearance somewhere by somebody? But I wouldn't even know who to put in that cameo. Like, Stargirl is the most obvious one. You're not gonna have Yolanda appear in the Flash, or, you know, you're not going to have somebody who, people who don't watch this show would recognize in something else. Oh, and then again, Don, John Diggle turned up everywhere, you know? You can't stop Diggle. He'll just appear in your show. It doesn't even have to be a superhero show. He'll just be there. It's happened. I've seen, I don't want to spoil some something I haven't released on YouTube yet, but he turned up in some random show I was watching. <laughs> I was like, hey, it's Diggle. This isn't a superhero show. Anyway. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. It's been it's been a fun three seasons. The first season was strong. I really enjoyed that first season. And uh, second season had that creepy Eclipso. Oh, that kid. That freaking creepy kid. That was a, like a wild ride. A wild ride, wild trip. Season 3 has been fine. The Starman stuff, the, the angsty Starman stuff of the earlier half was kind of explained by the twist in the later half. But then we had that, the two parts, the, like, kind of gateway to other superhero stuff that was its own thing and never really connected with the show much. Which kind of, kind of stumbled. But we had a happy ending and everybody, everybody got their ending. That's all I can see. So, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with some other show uh, some other time. And uh, I'll see you there. <laughs>